who is most likely to win big on Sunday night. We talked to some local music insiders to get their Grammy predictions. CBS News' Ian Maldonado now with the story. And the Grammy goes to? Grammy goes to. The Grammy goes to. And the winner is? With 10 nominees apiece in each of the big four categories at this year's Grammy Awards, predicting the night's top winners is tougher than ever. We broke down the categories, album of the year, song of the year, record of the year, and best new artist with music experts. All hip-hop's Chuck Creekmore, 94.7 The Blocks, Shelly Wade, and Rolling Stone's Manka Porcante. Up first, album of the year. Top contenders, Adele, Beyonce, and Bad Bunny. Adele, of course, released 30 within the Grammy eligibility window. And just this summer, Beyonce released Renaissance. Um, for both of them, it was both of their uh, first albums in about six years. Beyonce has won 28 Grammys. Oh, baby, baby, baby. But has never taken home album of the year. This is Beyonce's year. I would not be surprised if she takes home album of the year. Up next, song of the year and record of the year. Wade breaking down the difference between the two. The so record of the year is uh, the Grammy that goes to the artists, the producers, and the engineers, while song of the year goes to the songwriters. For song of the year, the bet is T Swift. I can see it going to Taylor Swift's All Too Well. While record of the year remains a close call between Lizzo, Adele, and Harry Styles. Record of the year, it's looking like Adele's big year. She had a huge song with Easy On Me. Uh, however, Lizzo is in the running. For record of the year, I, you know, predict that, you know, the, the, the front runners will be, of course, Harry Styles. Um, as it was, Adele's easy on me. As for best new artist, Creekmer, who is a Recording Academy member and will be in attendance on February 5th, says the great thing is all of the nominees represent distinct genres. We've got um, a really good, well-rounded group of new artists. One of the uh, bigger names is uh, Anita, who's a Latin artist, and she's got an incredible presence. I mean, million, hundreds and hundreds of millions of views. Lotto is a female rapper who's nominated. We also asked our panel, what can we expect to be different at this year's show? So the Recording Academy has worked um, on making its voting members um, more diverse. The Grammys are at their absolute best when they're able to uh, service and make space for a wide array of music. Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News. And all the experts agreed that we're really surprised to find out that one specific artist did not receive any nominations this year, and that was Nicki Minaj. That's surprising. And yeah. just a reminder, you can watch the Grammys right here on CBS2. It all kicks off at 8 p.m. on Sunday. All right, let's.